Welcome to another edition of Python for you. This morning I wanted to go back to our classes and subclasses in Python and point out that sometimes when you create a subclass, one of the things you'd like to do is not just completely override a base method, you'd like to be able to invoke the base method and then run your own code. In the Smalltalk world we do this by using super. It's a little different in Python. If you come over here I've declared a class called hello and it just returns hello world. And then I've got hello sub and I've got an equivalent method, I'm overriding the world method so that it return from base is invoking the inherited world method. Notice what I do here, I have to use the base class name. So I could have a chain of subclasses and I can invoke any level of them I want, which is something I'd actually kind of like in Smalltalk to be able to miss some of the intervening subclasses. But in any case, I can do this. I use the base class here, the function I want to call with any arguments, and then I'm just going to print that so you can see what's going on. And then I've got my own code here, the overriding, if you will, of the uh, base method. And then down here I just create my instances and then call the function. So let's see how that all operates. I'll run the module. And you see what we get is hello world by calling the base the function in my base class. And then by calling the inherited the subclass, I get hello world again and over it in subclass because I'm both invoking the inherited behavior and returning some custom behavior. So you see the way this operates. I can invoke inherited behavior as I wish or not wish in an inherited class and then I can move along any way I want. So that's kind of a nice thing about Python. It allows you to use inherited behavior or not as you see fit pretty much at any level of the hierarchy as long as it's visible based on the current scoping rules. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with Python.